Start by deleting the cube. Change to front view. Create a plane of 4 by 2 meters. Subdivide the plane 50 times. The more the better, but the heavier it will become. Select the top and bottom vertex, go to Object Data Property, and create a vertex group, and assign the vertex. Add a cloth modifier to the plane. Go to Shape and assign the group. Also enable self-collisions. Shade smooth the plane. Add a solidify and subdivision modifier. Now let's add wind to the scene. Change the strength to 7000. Now let's create the flagpole, just a simple cylinder with some extrusion for some detail. Press Shift SZ to scale the object in X and Y. Always apply scale after scaling any object. Create a sphere for the tip of the pole. Scale it, and apply scale. Now it's time to create the material. Create an image texture and upload the image. The UV is messed up, so it's necessary to unwrap it. Project from view, bounds, works great here. That was a bug, so after exiting from edit mode the texture will display correctly.
Now the flag needs some detail, so I used a normal, roughness and displace map. To load all the textures in one go, just press Ctrl Shift T, if it doesn't work that's mean the Node Wrangler isn't installed. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons then search for Node Wrangler and enable it. Increase the scale to 5. For the pole I used the gold and metal material from Blender Kit. It's a great add-on with lots of awesome materials and it's free. Now let's create some nice lighting for our scene. Just create an environment texture, and upload an HDRI image. Select the camera, and align it with the object. Use camera view to control the camera easily. For added detail, the HDRI image can be animated so that the clouds look like they are moving. Press Ctrl T to access the mapping node. Start in frame 1, press I on top of the scale. Go to the last frame, change the rotation, and press I again. Go to Physic Properties. Cache, and press Bake. Change the render engine to cycles and change the device to GPU compute. I used 4096 samples because the render was super fast, but you can change it to 512, or less if you have a slow computer. I always use medium to high contrast.
choose an output file for the final render. I cut the first 20 frames to avoid the flat flag in frame 1. I always render in PNG format and then use Premiere Pro for the video conversion. But for fast renders it's okay to use video format. Now it's just press render animation and wait. This was my final result.